Hello everyone, my name is Brayden and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today I will be releasing my texture pack for all of you to go ahead and download. So uh, yeah, a few things that I want to say before I get started with the texture pack review. Um, Yeah, I'm trying a new spot for my mic so hopefully you won't hear my clicking as much and hopefully I will be uh easier to hear so yeah and also i am using obs instead of action today because i noticed that action it really makes my uh voice sound weird and there's like random pops and i don't like it and uh it just sounds really bad so i decided to try OBS instead and I did a test recording and it seems to be working so that is good but yeah let's just get right uh, let's get right into the review so uh, yeah first up we have the iron door um, I really don't like this texture but it's fine it matches the iron block uh, let me just get that real quick so you can see so yeah, it matches the iron block, but I don't know, it just doesn't look that good. So it's probably going to change in the future, but for now, it's just going to stay like this. And then we got the oak wood, um, pretty nice uh, with the new default leaves, but with the bushiness stuff. And we got the rounder logs, and yeah, the... It's also the same with the stripped log, so that's pretty good. And then the trap door, normal door, and then the jungle wood, um, new default leaves, old default log, um, and then again the round log, that's for every log. And we have a green jungle planks. I just like green a lot better. I feel that you could use it in a lot more things than the old one. So I changed it to that and again the bushy stuff but that's for every leaf thing and then the door it doesn't match the um, planks as you can tell but uh, the reason why I made it like this is because for hobbit holes it works really well as you can see and yeah it just looks really good I love it so yeah that's why I made it like that and then the dark oak um, uh, for the leaves these are my own custom leaf texture that I made not too long ago so yeah I think they turned out pretty well they may need to be edited a bit but for now they're fine and then the trapdoor has a little window on it I think that looks pretty good and I think the door is messed up but I don't know it looks fine um birch this is like pretty much the same as normal just a bit edited uh it has like the planks instead of the whatever it was before <laughs> and then yeah it's also the color is edited so it matches sand a bit more as you can see it goes pretty good and yeah i like it like that so then we have the acacia wood again with the door except this one's red uh for the hobbit holes and so yeah this is the old uh jungle wood color but i made it for acacia instead because uh i like the green jungle wood and i hate the acacia wood texture and so this is pretty orange and the acacia wood in default was too orange so since these are both orange uh, I just made the old jungle wood this or the acacia so yeah that's pretty good uh, and the leaves are new default and then spruce wood uh, Pretty much everything is default except for the top of the strip log and the normal log. Uh, but then the leaves, these are also a custom texture by me. Uh, I think it turned out really good actually, so I really like that. 
And by the way, I just wanted to say that all the textures in this pack were made by me or Mojang or um, someone who I got permission from. So yeah, I made sure to ask everyone who I took textures from before I just took them. So that is pretty good. I'm pretty sure I only took textures from Germ though. Um, so yeah, that is pretty good. So yeah, I might have took a custom sky from someone, but I'll probably delete that because I didn't ask them. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do for a custom sky once OptiFine comes out, but yeah. Um, and then this is bedrock. Uh, it looks pretty good. It's like normal stone, but dark. Uh, it looks a lot better than default. Cobblestone, this is the old default texture, and then this is the new default texture, and then there's just a bunch of random textures that I made. Um, this one, I think, is the uh, old, or not old, but new default granite, just uh, made to match the cobblestone colors, and it looks pretty good. Uh, this is the stone, obviously. Uh, this is new default stone. This is old default stone. And then somewhere in here is my own... Here, this is my texture that I made. Um, it doesn't really look the same, but it looks close enough where if you're just walking through a cave or whatever, you wouldn't notice it. But yeah, so that is pretty good. And then stone bricks, old default, new default. Um, that's with like a lot of the stuff that I, or for a lot of the random stuff, like it's just old and new default. So yeah, that is pretty good. Just uh, makes it look a bit better. So yeah, and then this is netherrack and quartz ore. Uh, it's just cobblestone, just red, obviously. And then this is soul sand made to look like a mud texture. It looks pretty good. Um, works well in pathways, I think. So yeah, and then we have andesite, which is default. Uh, diorite which is andesite just white and then this is default just edited so there's not as many dark spots and then this is also andesite but edited to match the granite texture and then this default and then the trap chest this is um, inspired by b-dubs but it's not b-dubs texture this is also inspired by b-dubs but not b-dubs texture and then this is the ender chest um, inspired by germ because he has all of his and stuff purple and then this inventory is by germ so yeah he gave me permission to use it and yeah I decided to use it because I really like it it looks pretty good uh, the only thing is, <laughs> it's not different for like the ender chest, which sucks, but I it may be possible to change it in Optifine. I'm not sure though, so I'll uh, once Optifine comes out for 1.13, which is the version this pack is made for, um, I will see if it's possible, and then if it is, then I will make it so the ender chest has a purple inventory instead of this color so yeah and then the sand um it is the color is changed just a bit it looks more red i'm pretty sure that's what i did to it and then this is the old default texture new default and then i forgot to do the variation for red sand but yeah this is pretty much default um, I think in the future I'm gonna change the color to match acacia because birch matches normal sand so yeah I think that would be pretty cool um here is the dirt and grass so the tall grass has a few random variations these aren't all of them it's just like the ones that popped up when I placed the grass here but um some of the dirt has no pebbles at all some have a bit of pebbles and some are just default which i think is this one and then also some have big pebbles from the cobblestone texture and then yeah so there's two with big pebbles they're really rare so you won't really see them that much and stone is made to match sand and birch wood so that's pretty good um and then the 
bricks is changed to match the new endstone color. Uh, I don't really think it matches that good, so I might change this in the future. And then the end portal frame is made purple because all the end stuff is purple now. So yeah, and then we have the um, uh, prismarine bricks. Uh, this is to match all the or like most of the other brick uh, shape things because in default the brick shape for prismarine was really weird and I just didn't like it so I just made it like this and it looks a lot better and now we have the tools um, so the wood tools they are um, made to look a bit weaker than the other ones because they are and then so the wooden pick like the part that you hit the stone with it's a bit shorter than the other ones uh the that part whatever it's called uh is shorter the that thing on the axe is smaller and then that thingy on the shovel is also smaller and then obviously there's like the rope thing i don't know what those things are called for the tools so i'm sorry i just say it like that and you can't actually say the correct word because i don't know what it is but yeah and then for the diamond pickaxe it is a bit longer than the other pickaxes and also it has a little diamond part on the end like the diamond sword so that's pretty cool and here we have the crafting table uh, the inventory is not changed I don't know why I looked at that but it just matches the oak planks I actually might change this texture to be spruce instead because I use spruce a lot more so in my builds it would just fit better and then we got the furnace right here it's basically default just without the border and it just looks a lot better and the whatever the flame inside of it is now animated so I think that looks really cool and then the torch is a bit different uh, the normal torch is animated but the red sun torch isn't so if you look at the normal torch for a bit and it will change colors as you can see in the bottom right it's white and now it's turning more yellow so that looks pretty cool uh, the cactus has a bit more shadow and then the thorns are like a yellowish white and it looks pretty cool. Ladder is made to match spruce wood so place this here, place the ladder it matches um, so yeah that's pretty good. And then the obsidian is a new default version 1 but desaturated and then the portal frame or not portal frame uh the portal <laughs> i don't know why i couldn't think of that it's um red instead of purple but i can't change the particle color so i'm gonna need to wait until optifine comes out to be able to change those which really sucks because yeah it's not actually a texture the color is like hard coded into the game so that sucks but here are the bricks it is made to match a terracotta right here so that's pretty cool and then the red brick or nether brick is just this just red and then the uh nether brick is just the other just like dark and black so yeah i like the black nether bricks so it looks really good i think and then we got the glass this is inspired by b-dubs um it has this these little thingies i don't know what they are but i just did it to switch stuff up a bit make it look less like beat up texture and so yeah i like it it looks pretty cool here we have the crate or note block so yeah it looks pretty cool i think uh soon i'm gonna make different uh variations for depending on like what the pitch is or whatever why is there, oh, because there's a block on top of it. That's why it's not making any noise. Uh, so yeah, I think depending on the pitch, there will be a different texture. And so yeah, I might do like different uh, bookshelf textures, which will be pretty cool. And then 
like the different wood types of crates I think that would be cool so I'm probably gonna do that and maybe even add some barrels but uh, that's gonna be in a future update if I do do that and then iron gold and diamond block uh, and these two are new default I think this is edited just a bit and then this is um a new default is dark or also old default they're like the same thing so yeah it's just dark and then this is default just dark <laughs> that's with all the iron stuff so oh, anything iron is now dark except for the ore that's default uh so that is pretty cool and then chest plates these are uh like the old default shape with the new default shading and yeah i think it looks really cool i hated the new default shape of the chest plates but the shading looked really good so i like took the shape of the old default and tried to make the shading uh match the old default or new default whatever it's confusing <laughs> and then here are just a few items uh, we have lots of buckets here, or all the buckets, and then just some uh, stuff like shears to show that it's now dark. Um, Dragon's Breath is now purple. The outline was like blue, and so I just made it purple, and it looks a bit better. And then this is the cod and cook cod. If you don't know, in 1.13, they changed it to be like a light brown type thing kind of like this color and I just prefer the blue so I made it black back to boo I can't talk back to blue and yeah something that I actually forgot to do is make that actually blue so yeah I'm gonna need to do that but it is okay for now I'll do that before I release it so yeah and then we got the fishing rod with the little bobber at the end this is the old default shape with the new default shading and stuff um and then i took the bone texture and then took part of the chicken texture and made it like a chicken leg and it looks really cool this is probably one of my favorite textures in the pack so yeah that is good the little part that you grab onto on the bow is a bit different of the color uh the trident changed just a tiny bit on like the that part I, I kind of forget what I changed about it so and the pearl is purple and so is the eye of ender and that looks pretty cool and an item frame doesn't have anything in it in the item like when you're holding it so that's pretty cool sign doesn't have any words on it and it just matches the new sign texture right here uh redstone block this is red to match the lapis block which is pretty cool uh piston is has no border like the uh whatever it is the furnace but i don't really like this i don't know may take some getting used to um and then same with the dropper and dispenser no border and then this is uh when they're placed upwards so that's pretty cool here we have the lily pads, they are a bit lower than normal, so it kind of looks weird when you're standing on them, but if you're not actually standing on them, it looks better because normally, like, you see the hitbox, they're at the bottom of that hitbox, so they're like two pixels above the water, and it doesn't look good, so yeah, they're closer to the water now, and then there's a random variant of it with, uh, like root thingy coming at the bottom and then a flower at the top so that looks pretty good mushrooms have two variants the normal one and then this one with like a few more mushrooms around it which looks cool uh i forgot to change this this is supposed to be a different color and kind of more like this and so yeah it's just way too neon so i don't like it but we got the wheat texture these are all like normal and then this one is taller and then this one is too tall so yeah i like too tall wheat you could hide in it and it's pretty cool so yeah and then we come over here and this is the water texture uh it looks really cool i think this is 
probably like took the longest out of like any of the textures to make because like it's animated and yeah it's really hard to make good looking water um it's not perfect though but i think it looks good and i'll probably keep it like this for like a while uh yeah i really like it but the ending of the animation is kind of noticeable so i might just edit this but for now it looks good and so yeah that's really it for the pack uh if there's anything else that's changed it's probably just because uh it's just new default instead of default so yeah but thank you guys so much for watching this video uh make sure to leave a like if you haven't already and please make sure to subscribe if you also haven't already and yeah make sure to download the pack too and i'll see you guys all again next time bye